As we lead up to Avengers Infinity War, we're looking at how each specific Infinity Stone reflects the theme of the movie it's in. This week, we're looking at the Time Stone and Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is about the struggle against time. This isn't subtle. Even the marketing materials use time as a tool, creating trailers that played messages in reverse. This is just the beginning. Stephen Strange begins the movie rushing to save a patient's life. This opening shows us that he's a great surgeon and symbolizes that life is a race against time. But Strange is also quick to refuse patients who need his help. Yeah, well, I could help, but so could 50 other people. Find me something worth my time. He sees time as a commodity, best spent on increasing his own personal glory. To display his wealth, the camera lingers on his drawer of expensive wristwatches. The watches mean that he has an abundance of time and he can spend it however he wants. You've always spent money as fast as you can make it, but now you're spending money you don't even have. He feels as if he has a mastery over time. After his accident, Steve has no sense of self. Life without my work. Is still life. His identity was tied to his hands, symbolized by his inability to write his own name. The things in his life gradually disappear until his last possession is the watch broken in the accident. Your watch? No, please. It's all I have left. The watch was a gift from Christine. It represents her love for him, but it's also a symbol of Stephen's inability to move on from his accident. His grief has frozen him in time. He shares many similarities with the villain, Caecilius. He's grieving the death of his family and only sees time as a destructive force. Time is what enslaves us. Time is an insult. Caecilius' goal is eternal life, to cheat time. He uses pages from the Cagliostro, the Book of Time, to summon Dormammu from another dimension. Dormammu is described as... A being of infinite power and endless hunger. His eternal hunger represents the human desire to want more similar to Stephen's desire for more fame and money. Caecilius says, This world can take its rightful place alongside so many others as part of the one, the great and beautiful one. And Dormammu is the ultimate expression of solipsism, the idea that nothing exists beyond the self. After traveling to Nepal, Stephen tells the Ancient One how he became a doctor. Study and practice, years of it. And the inscription on Christie's watch reads, Time will tell how much I love you. In other words, time can be used as a force for growth not just destruction. The movie's big twist is that the Ancient One has been drawing power from the dark dimension to lengthen her own life. For hundreds of years, she has defied the natural course of time. When she finally embraces death, she savors the beauty within a single moment. We don't get to choose our time. Death is what gives life meaning. Strange's greatest lesson is learning to submit to time rather than trying to control it. You cannot beat a river into submission. You have to surrender to its current and use its power as your own. Time is the natural progression of life. Later, the Ancient One says to Stephen, You always excelled, but not because you craved success, but because of your fear of failure. But he defeats Dormammu by surrendering to that failure. You will never win. No, but I could lose. The end battle in the Dark Dimension is foreshadowed in one of the movie's first scenes. While operating, Steve asks another doctor to cover his watch. Removing this distraction allows Steve to adopt a meditative state and briefly transcend time. Transcending time doesn't mean you're more powerful than time. It means you accept it. The past and future don't matter, and you only need to live in the present moment. In the Dark Dimension, Strange transcends time by only existing as a series of moments, much like individual frames on a film strip. He wins by submitting to the power and then wielding it, like what the Ancient One said about Rivers. The film ends with Strange looking at his broken wristwatch. It's now useless because there's no need to keep time when you only live in the present. It has sentimental value, representing his love for Christine. But most importantly, it reminds him that time is a gracious thief and life is far too brief. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're finding us for the first time, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our installments on the other Infinity Stones. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.